Hey y'all, it's Cindy Cobb with Around the Town in the South and I am in Columbia, South Carolina and y'all know why I am here. Two reasons. Hootie and the Blowfish concert tonight and it's also Friday and Saturday. But when I saw their lineup, I've seen them a dozen times and they stopped touring and when I saw the lineup I said I can go anywhere to see them but I wanted to go to their home state yes. and just kind of um, celebrate the things of Columbia and also it's 9-11. So, one of our friends, one of our mutual friends, I, I reached out to him because he lives here, Jay Terrell, and I said, who do I need to do a vlog story with? And he said, Mike Wine Guy. And I said, Mike Wine Guy. So I looked him up and I started, you know, seeing what he was about. I have not really, I don't know very much about him. I know he has a podcast. Yes, and I know he is a wine, he sells wines, he's a, your wine rep. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And we're at the Black Rooster, which this is a new restaurant. We're on their rooftop that overlooks uh, downtown Columbia, which is absolutely beautiful. So, thank you for joining me. Yeah, thank you for asking me. I am so me. excited. That's the hospitality of being a Southerner. Oh, just sitting down and enjoying it? Well, I reached out to you and I said, would you do it? Well, a of course. It seems fun. Yeah. yeah, it is fun. But I want to I know, in, in the area that you're in, tell us a little bit, bit about you, okay. what you do, and what led you to do these podcasts. Oh, okay, great. Um, so, uh, I started in restaurants. I've always been in the restaurant industry. I came to Carolina uh, for the Gamecocks. So, I went here to college in 2001. Am I loud enough? <laughs> yeah, like the, you can go a little louder. <laughs> so, uh, um, so, I've been in Columbia since 2001. And um, I've always worked in restaurants. I worked in a restaurant called Harper's, which is a locally owned restaurant in Five Points, which is one of our awesome hubs of great stuff to do in the downtown city. Uh, and I worked there about 10 years, and after begging and pleading, somebody finally gave me a job selling wine. <laughs> and so, pretty much my job is to go around and drink wine with people who own restaurants and encourage them to buy mine. And it is an extremely fun thing to do. Yeah, as we're walking up the stairs to get to this rooftop, which is absolutely beautiful up here, I asked him, I said, how can I get your job? <laughs> he said, you can't. I, I said, you gotta beg, I don't know. <laughs> Very lucky. It, it's a very. It's a, there's a lot of hard work involved in it, but it's it's an extremely fun job to be able to do. Um, yeah, and so uh, we're at Black Rooster. So if you live in Columbia or you come to Columbia, check it out. Um, we're on the rooftop bar because I thought this would be a great place to do it. You yeah. can't see too much of it, but it's a beautiful view of the city. So this is it your is. Bay Street Bridge and going straight to downtown. And yeah, uh, you can see the top of our state house right there. Oh, awesome. Yeah, uh, yeah and this is awesome. Um, so the podcast is something I started doing recently. So basically, one of the other perks of my job, if you're really into wine, you'll really enjoy this. Um, maybe once every couple of weeks, I have somebody who's really closely involved with the winery, whether it's a national salesperson or like this week's is David Adelsheim, who's actually uh, the winemaker and one of the, the icons of the Oregon wine scene. You know, every once in a while I get to meet them, I'll have them in my car, I'll drive them around to show off to the different accounts and taste wines with them. And they always tell me these great stories that I try to like scratch down and say, oh, this is a story. All right, every time I try this wine, make sure I can relay it. And it's so much better um, when I can just record it. So I just popped on the, the cell phone. It's, it's not great quality. I don't edit very well. <laughs> but you can hear the real people telling the real stories, and I think that's kind of fun. So what, where, do, where would they go watch your podcast, and what's the name of it? Thank you. It is, so it's just a listening podcast. I haven't quite got into the video side of it yet um, but it's called ride between the wines ride between the, the think wines. Of, yeah think of read between the lines but it's ride between the wines How cool because it's that? usually in my car so I'm driving from account to account and uh, yeah. but uh, Spotify Apple podcast stitcher Google cast all that kind of stuff how cool thank you he has a Facebook page and it is his personal page but you can follow him I saw his page and you can see a lot of his um, I know you post some of the, the links to your podcast and other things too you know, he's not going to friend you if he doesn't know you more than likely, but he will <laughs> let you follow his podcast. It's really cool. Well, I can't wait to get in my car and listen. I love doing this because I get to find out, then I get to go listen. My, The one thing I didn't want to do is know everything. I want to be surprised. So let's be surprised for just a minute. Okay. If, you, if, you, if you're a visitor or you're, on, you're, you're, you're a tourist and you come to Columbia, South Carolina, what would be the one place that you would tell your friend they'd have got to go? So, I'm gonna... Everything that I do in Columbia is very uh, food and wine based. So That's right. I feel like I would have to recommend a restaurant. And we have so many amazing restaurants. I would say one really cool um, 
bar that's, if you want to go to like a divey bar, mm -hmm. um, the Wig, the wig. Is, it's an underground bar. Okay. It's right by the State House. Yeah. Um, and I just think that's a cool little spot to kind of see something that's a little bit different. But we have so many great things here. Like, um, so the owner of this restaurant, Christian Yemi, um, the other restaurant he owns in town is Bourbon. Bourbon. And Bourbon is actually right by Wig. And that is, um, I don't know, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's not fine dining. It's just a very cool feel for a bar. They have a huge selection of whiskeys, obviously, is the name would tell you. And I think that's a fun place to go. But we, um, so uh, you being newer to South Carolina, I'll First say. First time I've been in. In, in the whole state or Columbia? Not the whole state, okay. just Columbia. Well, well, I was going to say, um, in, in the state, I think Charleston gets all of the acclaim, the touristy, the great restaurants, but the number of great restaurants, uh, you can look right across the street. Um, this is right on the other side is uh, Tara, mm -hmm. um, which is Mike Davis, and it's like one of the first sort of fine dining farm to table things. I think he just celebrated like 12 years. Oh, wow. Um, Saluda's has got a rooftop um, that's gorgeous, just like that. Not a rooftop, but a, a second level patio that you can look out in five points. It's gorgeous. There's so many different. I could go on about our restaurants forever. Motor Supply is in this old motor supply building, and they, I guess it used to be like a, an actual garage. Oh, cool. And that's, yeah, if you're looking for a place to eat, that's a fun place. It's actually right downtown and walking distance to your foodie tonight. Oh, I'll do that. Um, so tell me this. I love Pinot Noir. Okay. That's my favorite uh, wine. If I were going to get a bottle while I'm here, what would you recommend? I just came back from a week in Oregon, and Oregon, Willamette Valley, Oregon, is the Pinot Noir capital of America, I think most people would say. That's really the grape that they're known for. Um, wow. They make great Chardonnay and Pinot Gris. So I have Oregon on the mind, so um, I got to spend a couple of days at King Estate, yeah. which is in the southern tip of Willamette Valley, and it's a huge, uh, probably the biggest biodynamic winery or vineyard that's out there so they're really about um, taking care of the earth and they have a million different things they grow and not just grapes so a bottle of King Estate Pinot Noir is probably a great one that's fresh on the mind. And what's the price point? I'm just curious. I always have are to you, Are you going to grab it from a restaurant or are you going to grab it from a... Probably from a liquor store. Maybe... 25 bucks. I'm super bad. I don't know. Uh, I don't <laughs> know retail price prices. Price. Maybe that's 25 bucks. Point. Point. Yeah. That's a good price point. Well, I have to get a bottle of that. That is awesome. So, uh, are you are you going to get out and about in a little while? Are you going to? Are you? I know you're working. Oh yeah, no, no. I'm I'm going to hide. You're going to hide. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever we have everybody in town for the hooting and the blowfish stuff, uh, I'm probably well, actually uh, I'm going to go to the wake tonight because they're having a Mexican cake, which is um, a brewery. Uh, out of Mount Pleasant, they make a wine every year called Mexican Cake. And That's a it's wine? Delicious. It's a beer. It's but, a beer. Gotcha. But I'm actually going to get there tonight drinking that. And then That's I'll probably awesome. hide away. Well, I'll be in town. If you're in town, I have a lot of Alabama friends. I know that Alabama is pl playing the Gamecocks this weekend. It is. They're going to go home sadly. <laughs> He's already said but that. But they'll have a great experience here outside of the game. There's, this place is beautiful. I've ridden around downtown. It's absolutely gorgeous. But if you're in town, Hit me up if you're from Alabama or wherever. Hit me up. I'd love to see you. I'm, I'm about to go downtown. I'm going to shop in some places. I'm going to go eat at a couple of places. One of my friends, you may know the spa travel gal, Avis. She's going to meet me and kind of showcase a couple nice. of things for me because she lives here, which is awesome. So, is there anything else you would want our viewers to know about you or the wine or anything about South Carolina? I know we're right around the corner from the zoo. Yeah, the Riverbank Zoo is supposed to be... Um I, I've heard this for years because I grew up here, but it's supposed to be one of the nicest ones in the nation, and they've done a lot to it. And there's also a botan botanical gardens across the street that's a very pretty thing. So oh, wow. that's a fun thing if you're coming in town for the day. Yeah. Um, if you have kids, this uh, the state museum has a second part of it called Adventure. I don't oh. have kids, but it's I think it's like a big kid named Ed, and you walk inside him and oh, do cool. all that kind of kid stuff. So that's always fun. Cool. There's a bowling alley on Main Street now where you can bowl while you drink. Oh wow! Um, it's like, it, yeah, like I guess you can drink anywhere drink. you bowl, but it's it's like a, like a fancier bowling alley. It's yeah. called uh, the Grand. It's oh, called how the Grand. Cool. Yeah. So I'm going to go look for a mural. I have to do mural. Okay. That's that for me. Mural. Mural. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go look for some murals to take some pictures of. What do you recommend? So um, one of the newest ones is in Five Points. Mm -hmm. uh, so when you get to the mural. Um, uh, there used to be an old like Tiger gas station or something there, and it's been leveled recently, and now it's a parking lot, a little extra parking, which is nice. Uh, and somebody did this awesome um, 
mural, I think it says five points, and there's several different pictures up on it. So that's a very cool one. Awesome. Um, and I can't, at the moment, think of what's actually on the mural, but it's, it's things about Columbia. Uh, and then when you think about murals in Columbia, the other thing that comes to mind is a guy named Blue Sky, or I think he goes by Wild Blue Sky now. But he is painted all over the state. I mean, I'm from Sumter, and on the way to church, every single week there was this big uh, beach painting um, that's on this huge mural on the side of this building. And that's like the first blue sky, and I grew up seeing it. And you get here, it's just, I guess it's a tub. So if I were going to pick one of those to see, it would be Tunnel Vision. Um, okay. And it's a, it's a big tunnel. It looks like it's a tunnel. And then in front of it, um, in the same parking lot, there's a huge fire hydrant called Busted Plug. And so you kind of get one of his sculptures, I guess, and uh, and one of his murals. So I would head over that way. How cool! That's yeah. exactly what I'm gonna do. Thank you so much for for joining me in my show today. Yeah. I can't wait to do some vlogs and listen to your podcast. And I'm gonna buy that bottle of wine. And I'll let you know because I'm a I'm a wine yeah. snob. Yeah, let me know. I'm, I'm you'll you'll you be know. happy. I better be happy. <laughs> well, look, we want to thank the Black Rooster for letting us host our show in their restaurant today. Thank you so much, Miss Mike Wine Guy. Yes, it's pronounced that, and it is that. So if you type that in, you'll be able to find him. If you Google him, you, you come yeah. right up. So do it's I? Awesome. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you really do. It's Mike Wine Hyphen Guy. So that oh. might help. I don't know how. There's a lot of wine guys out there. He's so, got a hyphen. I got a hyphen. Woo! Woo! It's <laughs> awesome. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for joining me. Stick around. I'm going to be showcasing other things here in Columbia. We'll see you around the town.